Got Osila today and I made Os met my Osila today. So I've come in on this islet, walked down this very slippery log by using a long branch sitting over there. It's very precise, very slow, methodical walking. That's slippery as fuck. So made it over the first challenge though, and we're heading for the first time in a probably five or six days to the Vesica Pisca or what's left of it. We'll see what we can find out here. Looks like a lot of disturbance to the sand, so I may not find anything. Uh, we'll see. We've got uh, one eagle up here. Hurts. Oh. Oh, there's two up there. Is that right? up there. Sorry about the awkward camera work. Yeah. We'll see what the river made of our circles. <sighs> if nothing else, it might... Well, I see something still there. So, we got... Let's take a look. Hopefully we don't slip into the river. You and I are looking at the same time. Wow. The local invert said that we would lose it. Well, looks like we got something still. There's a lot of rocks still in there. Some rocks were moved, but they didn't go very far. And that's the main thing. And I'm looking as much as I can. We've still got a Vesica Pisca there. That's neat. I just want enough to prove those inverts wrong. First major... <coughs> First major flood tide. Hello. It's okay, we won't gawk at you. So I see a few stones displaced, but you see... That is the center of the first circle and it looks like we've lost a few <laughs> but we haven't lost everything and that's the main thing and we should see this going down today if I'm not mistaken the tide will be going out around now so uh, hopefully we'll have more to look at so we have some shifting but it can only shift the rock so much. I mean, how far can they go? I mean, these are 100, 200, 300 pound stones, right? So I see some have just sort of moved in the sand. The point is it wasn't wiped out. Another good point. This actually looks like the island of Salt Spring that I used to live on, which I was thinking about the other day. I'm not sure if I'll rearrange it or what I'll do. I think I'll just leave it the way it is. I'd be interested to see, like, let a whole winter season go by and see what, if anything, remains and then if it's worth rebuilding in the spring. But I see a lot of stones down there still. It's neat. So, gives you some idea of, like, this huge keystone that I put in here. Let's see, where's that one? Right there. I don't think that moved very much. And there's some stones that didn't move at all, some stones that did. Um, so we'll be, uh, we'll be keeping appraised of that. Anyway, I wanna, I'm on the island by myself here. No one's going to be able to get up here, so I have privacy, which I like. And I'm going to enjoy it luxuriously. And let the local uh, super friendly predators stay in their area. And the more sensible, civil animals get to stay over here today. An un informal designation, an informal uh, quarantine or segregation. I want to stay near the Vesica Pisca because I just feel it's such a wonderful energy. It wasn't like I didn't think the river could shift. It's just that uh, I didn't like my work being dismissed. 
So I've got a couple two-leggeds staring out this way. And uh, we've got some sunlight coming in over here. I just want to keep that as a short report. It's the first time I've made it to the circle since the flood tide. So I would say 50% of the stones have probably shifted at least some point. And I would say about 25% of the stones have shifted uh, moderately just from or uh, just from what I little I can see from right here. But you still get, a, you know, a beautiful arrangement of stones. And uh, you now the water, the river has passed through it and she's had her mark on it. And I'll let everyone else enjoy it as they will too. And hopefully I'll have something a little more to show you um, in a few hours. Thanks for listening.